Welcome back to the Wed's Cooking Show. Again, it's healthy week, and Jason's got a, a quite a few vegetables here for us to try and cook. And um, Jason, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Joey. <clears throat> Today uh, we're gonna make three different um, vegetables that we do with the steamboat, um, mainly because uh, I got a phone call a few days ago, well, a few weeks ago, uh, asking why don't I do the uh, carrots from the steamboat, the recipe for the steamboat. Um, and it's um, one of the most coveted recipes over uh, the 33 years that the steamboat's been in business. So today, uh, as per request, oh, great. we're gonna show everyone how to make uh, the steamboat honey glazed carrots. That's really so, good, because I know a lot of people that go to the steamboat, and they rave over those carrots, and I know my wife is one of them, and yeah. I love them too. Well, it, it, you know, this one, you know, most people who don't like carrots, you like this one because it, um, um, it's basically, once it's finished, it tastes pretty much like candied yams or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't normally like carrots, uh, per se, um, that much, except I do love this recipe. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, People may be surprised at home, though, how simple it really is. Um, so pay close attention because it's you know, very easy and pretty quick. So uh, mm -hmm. first okay. we're gonna start, uh, we have a, about a medium-sized magnolite light pot. Mm -hmm. We have about a half a pound of real butter, unsalted, that we put in here. Um, it's better to use real butter than margarine in this recipe, uh, you know, obviously. So we're gonna start with that. We have it melted. Um, what we use is, um, the sliced frozen carrots, it's a two pound bag. I got two two pound bags today. Um, if you don't use the frozen, you're gonna have to blanch your carrots and uh, get them tender before you right. do this, because it, it just will never cook. I mean, it will, but it would take forever. So, make sure it's frozen, so that way it's very simple, or a lot simpler. We're and gonna Jason, add this to the pot. We always have uh, like main entrees here on the show, and. It's, it's a big difference, you know, to come and actually do the vegetables instead of a I main entree. Yep, yeah, like you, you see said, a every, choice, you know. every show we're doing soups, salads, any kind of entree. Uh, and, um, you know, we never really do sides that much. So we're going to show today how to do that. Um, take the spoon, give us a little stir. Joe. All right. So basically you just got about four pounds of sliced carrots. At home you would, you would probably do half this recipe for any kind of event at your house. Uh, mm -hmm. We're gonna take half an onion, and you just kinda want to... Now you see, I, I wouldn't have guessed there was any onions in those carrots yeah. at all. Um, if I was to come up with a recipe for honey, gla honey glazed carrots, I probably wouldn't either. Mm -hmm. But you'd be surprised uh, the flavor it adds to it and how how well it, you know. No, I'm sure because I mean, does. like I said, I mean, that's the best carrots I've ever eaten. And I've been always, I've been wanting that recipe for a long time, but I don't know, you just never would give it up to me. I don't know what the deal is well, now. Like we were saying before, uh, before we uh, got on camera, um, we have, I get probably two to three uh, people email me each, each week from the website. They'll go to the Steamboat Warehouse mm -hmm. website and they'll ask me, can I please get the recipe for the carrots? And... A lot of times people ask for it and they'll say, you know, I, I don't eat carrots, I don't normally like carrots, but um, this recipe, you know, these carrots, I love them, it's my first time going or whatever. And, um, you know, especially uh, when holidays are coming up, a lot of people will, um, you know, they'll call or call us or email me or something and they'll say, man, please, you know, can I have the recipe? Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people like to do it for their, their side dish for like Easter or Thanksgiving, right. something like that. Right. And, um, you know, if you did this uh, for your, your, you know, family's holiday dinner, you know, you could actually kind of omit the uh, candied yams and it's a lot mm -hmm. easier. Oh, definitely, yes. Um, you know, at home you could put a lid on this if you didn't have time to sit by and stir it. <clears throat> One thing to remember and to keep in mind is that uh, with honey, that we're about to put in here. The honey um, will burn very, very easily. So what you want to do is make sure you either leave it on low okay. or medium and uh, just constantly watch it and stir it. Uh, if you had a, you know, at home you have one with a lid, put the lid on it and turn it on, you know, medium at first. And once you first see the steam coming out of the sides of the, the lid, take the lid off, stir it once, turn a little bit lower. And about 30 minutes later, you could open the pot and it'll be ready. Wow. But if you're in a hurry, you know, you could turn it up and 
you know, just keep it. Just yep. keep watching it, yeah. You know, Jason, uh, a couple of weeks back, he had done the, uh, the catfish on the show, and um, the Daily World had come and done an interview, too, for on the, uh, the Wednesday before Easter, mm -hmm. and uh, was on catfish and stuff, and uh, all, the, all the people I, I noticed that were, had noticed the uh, recipe stuff in the uh, Daily World and on our website over here, they flocked to the store. They really? wanted, oh my God, they wanted <laughs> All ingredients the, the cream meal, the corn, the corn flour mm -hmm. and everything. And I was, I was really, really sick. I mean, cause there was, where's the corn flour? Where's the cream meal? You know, and yeah. they had the recipe actually in their yeah. hands. So on. I was really excited about that. You know, it's just, they were, um, I mean, you did a wonderful job. You know, we were able to get the recipe and put it in there for your tartar sauce yep. and everything else. And everybody just went crazy over that. And I was, I was really happy with that. Yeah. You know, we, with the show and everything, and the, the fish. Good response. The, oh yeah, Good Friday was really, really something to be excited about. Well, Joey, I added about uh, this is actually uh, this container is probably about two and a half pounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, two and a half uh, cups. And uh, what I did is I put half of that in there. So what we're gonna do is uh, just gonna stir it around a little bit, and that's it. It was four ingredients: that's it. butter. Frozen carrots, you could use the baby carrots, of course it would take a little bit longer. Um, and then uh, a little bit of onions and some honey. So, uh, you know, again, you just watch and make sure you don't put it up too high. All these ingredients can be found at Piggly Wiggly. Oh, of course, yes. It's really simple, you put that in the pot. You know, actually speaking of the pig, I went there just yesterday again, we were talking about that mm -hmm. earlier. A lot of fresh produce you'll have. Uh, I, I attacked it. You know? uh, a lot of people Fruit. now are starting to eat more healthier and stuff. That's why we basically did this show today too. Um, and just you can't beat fresh produce and, and vegetables and yep. fruit and stuff. And I'm, I'm a fruit lover. Me, I don't know about you, but I yeah. I love just about every kind of fruit they got. Bananas, apples, mm -hmm. things like that. Kiwi, mangoes, yeah. all that good stuff. So okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a short break and come back with uh, Jason and the vegetables. So join us back for more what's cooking. Mm -hmm. 